Good morning. Love we have seen is not boastful or arrogant. And the first two words of verse 5 tell us that it's not rude. It's not rude. So we learn that love does not envy, does not boast, is not arrogant, and it is not rude. Askemeneo is the Greek word. And I want to think about it for a moment. If you go, it's only used twice in the New Testament, um, here and one other place. Um, when you go to the Old Testament, you find four uses of it in the Septuagint. Uh, one of those uses is translated as degrade. Three of the others are in Ezekiel. And Ezekiel uses the word for the phrase, you are naked and bare. You are naked and bare. And it's used for the word bare. And so the idea, of course, of nakedness in the Old Testament has to do with shame. So what I want you to think about this morning is that love doesn't try to expose anyone to shame. Love doesn't degrade someone else. Love doesn't highlight the baser aspects of another person. And guess what? We all have them. <laughs> I have them. You have them. There are always things that could be drawn to the surface and highlighted about my life that I don't want highlighted about my life, that I already know are part of my life. I'm not talking about in the context of appropriate counseling or appropriate ministry to somebody where we're really trying to disciple them and work through spiritual issues. Of course, we want to highlight some things at the, the appropriate time, draw them out, and be able to talk honestly about them. But the point of the text is love doesn't use those hard parts of someone's life as a kind of billy club. It doesn't pull them up for the sake of shame. It doesn't use language that demeans or degrades another and makes them feel less than in areas where they probably already feel a measure of insecurity. Love is going to operate thinking the best of another. And this is something in our world, if we're honest, we struggle with because we have so much uh, um, that comes into our lives that highlights the negative that we sometimes miss the simple truth that love just tends. Not always. I mean, we have to admonish one another, but it tends and is dominated by not giving in to the negative and not highlighting the negative and, and, and not putting it underlined in somebody's life. Instead, it's, it's just not given towards that kind of disposition or given to that kind of way of relating. So my encouragement to you is to, to not be rude in the sense that you're not going to pull out and try to shame somebody and embarrass them. You're not going to use your humor to do that. You're not going to use um, cutting words to do that. You're not going to use passive aggressive comments or backhanded comments to do that. You're, you're, you're not going to use um, intentional silence to do that. There's a lot of ways we use our relationships in ways that don't conform to love. And one of them is when we're rude because love is not rude. May the Lord bless you as you seek to be loving to people this day.